Well, we've done what I expect from the next DLC, we've done what animals I think the game needs, I think it's time to dive into my personal wants. So, sit back and let's take a relaxing ride through my top 25 animal wish list for Planet Zoo. Now I know that obviously not all of these will make it in, actually very few will probably make it in, seeing as we're coming up on maybe the last DLC, but I figured this was something fun I could do just to like showcase what I would like to see. So, that being said, please remember that this list is only based on my opinion. Please be respectful if you don't agree with my list. If you don't agree, I'm sorry. I have my own personal want, like personal reasons for wanting these animals. And then one more thing before we start, a few rules and a few things to say about the list before we actually get into it. Uh, I will not be including full aquatics. Um, or free flying birds in like habitats. Uh, there might be a couple birds in my list that are suitable for the walkthrough exhibit, but they're only for the walkthrough exhibit. They're not for free, free flying birds, so I'm not going to suggest things like vultures or giant free flying birds like that. So I think with that, that's what I have to say. Uh, I'm not going to be dividing this into sections of what animal is what. I'm just going to be doing counting down from 25 all the way to number one. And with that, let's get right in to my wish list for Planet Zoo. Starting off at number 25, we have the black and white colobus monkey, or better known yet as the mantle Guizira. These are African monkeys. I know that baboons are like my signature like species of like primate that I really want right now for at, le at least Africa, um, but these would also be really, really good for the game. Uh, I would really like to see an African primate in general make it into the game before it ends. And these guys especially are really cool and really stand out. It would be so fun to watch them like jump around the trees and I would love to build for them. Going into number 24, we have a missed opportunity from the Eurasia pack, the Black Buck. Uh, so before the Eurasia pack, I really wanted to see an Asian species of antelope, and while we did get one with the Saiga, it would be even better if we got one that is more common in captivity. Because the Saiga, even though it was in the top 25 of the Meta wishlist, it wasn't really what people were expecting for ungulates of Asia. Alright, coming up at number 23, which we have one that you might have actually thought would be a bit higher, but um, I'm actually putting this quite low. The Spectacled Bear, or the Andean Bear. Uh, one of the last two species of bears that people really want in the game. Um, the Sloth Bear was also up there. Not as much, we had the American Black Bear, you have the Spectacled Bear, and you have the Sloth Bear. That were the three big bears that were left before the Eurasia Pack, and the Sloth Bear was the least uh, requested one, but it did get in, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy for the people who wanted it. I'm personally not one of those people who really wanted it, um, but I would really appreciate the Spectacled Bear, because South America definitely needs the representation. South America is the least represented um, continent in the game, and it would really be sad to see South America not get at least a few more species. Not saying it has to be the bear specifically, but it is a really cool species. It is pretty different from the rest of the bears. It is like a slimmer um, style bear, and it's also the only short face bear we would have in the game. Alright, number 22, the hummingbirds in the walkthrough exhibit. Again, another one that I thought I would actually place further up. So, hummingbirds actually are one of the few ones that I can actually see them going in the walkthrough exhibit, seeing how they go in between regular exhibit box animal and walkthrough exhibit animal for the past year. The next pack should have a walkthrough exhibit animal. And if it's hummingbirds, or another one I might mention or later on in this video, so stay tuned for that, I would really appreciate that. Because hummingbirds, I think, can work really similar, similarly to the butterflies that were in the grasslands pack. Um, we can get a few different species of them, and their wings move so fast that even though it might be a bit challenging to animate, it also might be easier because they move so fast it'll be honestly hard to see. Even if they do get the mechanics right and stuff, and they actually figure out how to make it work, it'll be really hard to see because they move extremely fast. Uh, but hummingbirds are unlike anything else, and like that we have in the walkthrough exhibit and just the game in general. And while they aren't what people immediately think of when they hear birds, especially in the walkthrough exhibit, I still feel like they would be a great addition when making things like gardens or greenhouses, just like people use the butterflies. Number 21, the Barbary Sheep, or the Aodad. So we don't get a lot of Caprons in the game, like, ever. I know we got the Talkin' in the last pack, but we haven't gotten an actual goat 
species yet. I know the Taken is, it, the Taken I don't really classify as a goat, honestly. I know it's like its group. It has a more stockier build compared to something like the Dal Sheep or the Alpine Ibex, which are a lot slimmer and goat-like, if that makes sense. But definitely the Barbary Sheep can definitely fit this, and also the two goats that we have in the game are both cold climate animals. So the Barbary Sheep would be our first hot climate animal, and but also do some extra additions to um, to Africa and do some extra representation. I know Africa isn't what people mainly think of when they think of continents that need representation, but Barbary Sheep would definitely still add to that, and I think it would be a really useful animal. Alright, coming down to the top 20, starting us off with the Southern Tamandua. One of the most underrated South American picks, in my opinion, um, and it might be because I feel like it would be a bit hard for Frontier to animate. Tamanduas are like climbing anteaters, they're really cool. Um, I like their color scheme, I like that they're a smaller species that can add to South America's area, because right now we have a lot of larger South American animals, giant otters, maine wolves, jaguars, llamas, capybars. We don't have a lot of smaller animals for South America. All right, next up, number 19, Grey Crown Crane, one that is popular in the community. Um, and actually, if you go to, I think in the 2023 made a wish list, it's decently up there, like in the top, I think it's in like the top 15, like in that like 10 to 15 area. But in the 2024 made a wish list, I think it's at like number eight. But the Grey Crown Crane is definitely a unique African bird. And I mentioned in my last, not my last video, one of the last videos uh, where we talked about what Planet Zoo needs in terms of animals, I said that we need an African land Land bird, which I do agree with. I think that an African land bird, whether it be a hornbill, secretary bird, anything like that, would definitely be a good addition. And I think it could add to Africa because the only birds we have for Africa right now is a penguin and a flamingo. I, I, I do think we need another bird for Africa that's higher quality and could go with a lot of other things. Or it could also just be a solo creature, a solo, spe solo species that can live by itself. I really don't know. Um, but the Grey Crown Crane is definitely one of the more vibrant species um, of Africa, especially for birds. Um, I love their bright crown on the top of their head and their color palette in general. Overall, great species, and I would love to see them in the game to add to our African diversity of Planet Zoo. Alright, number 18, getting back to the land of the goats, we have the Markor. I was, I was really hoping we would get these guys in Eurasia Pack. There are a lot of species that would have fit in the Eurasia pack that we didn't get, and I can't be mad at it because there are a lot of species, so whichever way they went, they're gonna miss something um, that I wanted. But I, I do hope we still get this one maybe in the final pack, or like another pack if we do keep getting more packs. These guys are a very iconic species. I love their twisted horns. I mean, that's honestly what probably makes them unique compared to other goats. Um, they are another cold climate species, so they are they do share that in common with the alpine ibex and the dal sheep. But to be fair, the ibex is from Europe and the sheep is from North America. So it being from Asia, it would at least have some kind of diversity. Um, but yeah, these would make additions to the Asian roster in the game. And just goats in general, because I really think that that's one of the more lacking groups of the game right now, as Caprons. Alright, number 17, bringing this one back that I already mentioned, and is, I think, the king of the Meta wishlist at the moment, or at least right up there, the Secretary Bird. Another beautiful bird from Africa, the Secretary Bird would be a great addition to Planet Zoo in my opinion, especially if they could somehow give it hunting behavior, so I know that Secretary Birds are unique for their hunting mechanics, and I'm hoping that if we did get this, they could at least do some sort of enrichment or behavior where they did this, where they can almost like stomp the ground, because in the wild, they would like kill snakes or small mammals. To me, there are better options for African birds, but there is something, I, in terms of usability, I think that this one is less of an option to get, because it's it's mostly solitary, which means it can't go into mixed enclosures with ostriches and zebras and all your other ungulates. Meanwhile, other ones like hornbills or grey crowned cranes can. But there is something, the certain appeal of a sec secretary bird that still appeals to me. I really like how the bird is structured and how it looks. Um, I love their powerful legs. I like that. The, I like that that makes them unique. But yeah. Uh, a bit of a debatable one, like a, a controversial one um, among the community, but in the end it is at the top of the made a wish list or close to it, and I think it would be a good addition to Planet Zoo in general. Alright, number 16, the white-faced Saki monkey. The monkeys in general in South America are heavily lacking, and it is painful to see. White-faced Sakis are definitely um, really cool monkeys. They're, I, I would prefer a larger species of monkey, but I do have to make an exception for the Saki monkey, because this 
is one of my favorite monkeys ever. Um, I love the male's bright colors on the face. Um, I love that they are one of the most active species of monkeys. I really like personally monkeys that are really active and like 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 running around, like acting like monkeys. <laughs> I have these these guys in my local zoo and they are absolutely amazing to watch. Um, I love them running around and see them just have fun. Okay, number 15, the palace cat. I know that cats aren't the biggest want right now in the game because we have so many um, and I know that there are definitely a lot of groups that need more attention but let's remind or let's remember that this is my wish list and I can want as many cats as I want. Palace Cat I really wanted in the Eurasia pack again another missed opportunity but it's fine because again there's lots of animals for Eurasia well, I am sad that a couple of them did that they did choose could have been better. I don't care that much. Um, you can go see my Eurasia pack review uh, for that on the Shorts channel. And actually, speaking of that, you can go see all of my reviews for every Planet Zoo DLC on the Shorts uh, section of my channel. Head over there after you're done this video and check those out. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So, the palace cat is definitely, I think, one of the very few cats. Even if cats aren't the main one, there is a, like a couple ones that are still squeaking by that people really like. Um, and I'm definitely one of this crowd for the palace cat. It is a beautiful cat and especially would add to our small cat roster in the game. And they're just really cute in general and grumpy. Alright, number 14, Panther Chameleon, or just a chameleon in general. Like, I just chose the Panther Chameleon because it's the most recognizable and the most, like, the most common one. I'm normally not that invested in exhibit box animals. I, every time we get an exhibit on animal, I, like, we're in the box, I try to be excited, but I'm like, nah, I won't ever use it, who cares? <laughs> um, but I am glad for the people who do get exhibit box animals, but this one would definitely be one of the animals. I would love in the exhibit and I might actually want to see it when the pack releases if it has this guy in it because normally when I, I open a pack I just skip the exhibit animal because I don't care about it. Chameleons are really cool I love their color changing abilities I'm wondering if the, we did get this that they would put color changing abilities in here maybe um, it would be really cool if they did that. Seeing as exhibit box animals are just stationary usually they just stay in one place I can't really see too much of a problem with the coloring I'm assuming they just like stay in one place and they have that color for the entirety that they're in there but I don't know I, I just really hope we get it I think it's the only one of the very few animals that were missing from the exhibit box all right and coming down to number 13 we're getting closer to the top 10 a rabbit species so whether it's a jackrabbit an arctic hare european rabbit holland lop rabbits are unlike anything else and can fill a variety of zoo needs um if we get the european rabbit people will be ecstatic for a petting zoo animal if it's a jackrabbit it'll be like a desert kind of animal arctic hare will be a tundra animal Rabbits can fill a lot of things. I think the European rabbit will be most useful because not only can it be a petting zoo animal, but it can also be um, like a wild rabbit. Like, like you can just put them, like set them off in your zoo. I think also modders would also really like a rabbit because they these are the only um, model or rig that they don't have to use. And if we get one rabbit, they can make the rest of the rabbits, um, like a jackrabbit and, and stuff like that, and the things we don't have. All right, moving down the list to number 12, we have the Serval, another free line that I know a lot of people don't want. It's not like a what would benefit the game pick for me. It's just that I really like Servals. I know a lot of people say it's just a Caracal clone and we should have got the Serval instead of the Caracal, but I disagree. I, I like the Caracal just as much, but the Serval is, it, it's like a half and half situation. If we get one, we should get the other, I think. At least for me. I know a lot of people don't feel the same way. Alright, number 11, Southern Ground Hormel, another African bird. This one's a bit different, and this one ranks a bit higher than the, the last two, the Secretary and the Great Crown Crane. Um, Hornbills are vibrant and would be very different to other birds here we have in the game. I think almost like the closest thing we would have to vultures, because I know vultures are a lot more like flight activated, like they spend a lot more time in the air, but ground hornbills actually don't, and I think that these would still be pretty cool like scavengers to have. They would be able to be in large hoofstock enclosures with like zebras and all that stuff and they're just cool creatures in general so i really want to see them in the game all right coming down to the top 10 here we go homodryas baboon so yes i i know that in the last video 
In the last speculation video, I put the baboon at number one spot of what the animal we need the most in Planet Zoo, and it's true, the baboon is one of my top three spots, but I didn't say which baboon species is in the top three, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, but anyway, the baboon is probably like the most important species. The baboon is like a really common animal that's also really well known. Um, I just prefer another species of baboon more than the homodryas. I just think the homodryas is the one we're going to get the m probably the most likely. So hopefully that pays off and hopefully we get a baboon species in the final pack. Alright, number 9, Golden Lion Tamarin, uh, another South American monkey. Uh, and again, I know that I said I wanted larger um, species of monkeys in South America, but this is an exception because South, like tamarins are really iconic species in zoos. I really like these guys, they're also at my local zoo, and I would really like to see them as either habitat animals, or if it has to come through it and they have no other ideas, the walkthrough exhibit. Number 8 and 7, these are tied, and that is the Scarlet Ibis and the Victoria Crown Pigeon. So, both of these are medium-sized colorful birds, and they are both ones that I really like. Both of them are at, and actually at my local zoo, we, they have these guys together in the same enclosure, and I know they're from different continents entirely. It was really cool to see, like, the different color contrast between the two. Alright, number 6, Macaws and the Walkthrough Rizabit, a very controversial topic. I, I do think that we could potentially see these in the final pack, much like Jurassic World Evolution gave their game Pteranodonts in the final pack, being the only flying species in the game, being on a looped system. Anyway, though, that's another video entirely. Uh, I really like macaws. I think that they could again work the same way as butterflies, giving us a few different species of them, like the red and gold, or sorry, red and blue, or like the military macaw, or hyacinth macaw. A bunch of different macaw species are there to choose from. I can't say no to a macaw. Alright, top five time. This is where it gets interesting. Here we go. Alright, number five, Goodfellow's Tree Kangaroo. Uh, one of the more popular ones recently after the Oceana Pack's exclusion of it, which I can understand. Uh, tree Kangaroos are really unique animals. They would definitely be something completely different to what we have in the game as long as, as far as like, the roster of animals go. And I mean, they, they'd also be one of the cutest animals in the game, so um, what, what's not to love? Alright, number four. This is probably the most surprising one out of the list, the Brazilian Porcupine. I've, I actually never mentioned this one in either of the past two videos, simply because I don't think it's needed in the game, and I also don't think we're going to get it. But I think that this guy is definitely something unique, and I know we just got a Porcupine last year, but it's getting... But the great thing about Porcupines is that they're really different. Even if we got the North American Porcupine, it's still a lot different than the African Crested Porcupine. So overall, another Porcupine would be great as long as it's something that is unique. And Brazilian Porcupines, I haven't even seen them in real zoos. I just love the way they look, they're cute, and they're unique to what we have in the roster so far. And would also be South American representation. I, th I think that these could be a really good wild card if Frontier does go the route of a Latin America pack for the finale pack. Alright, number three, a waterfowl species, specifically a pelican. Now, in the last video where I did what we need um, in Planet Zoo, I put this in just with like waterfowl um, and I did a duck or a pelican. With this, I'm specifically choosing a pelican because this is my wish list. While I would like ducks, they're just not as interesting to build for as a pelican would, if that makes sense. Pelicans are really unique, and I know that there is some great mods for pelicans already out there. There's a specifically, I think, the great white pelican that is a really good mod but i do want to see an official one not only just because the console people exist because now they can't get mods but in general pelicans i feel like deserve a spot in the game's roster because they're very iconic birds now that we have the swan we hopefully should be able to see something reuse that rig because it would be a shame if they didn't all right number two and this is what you've been waiting for, the gelata. While the homodryas I put at 10th place, my true favorite baboon species is the gelata, after seeing them at the Bronx Zoo, and that's really changed my mind. I think it would be a really good addition to Planet Zoo, and I, I think that we need some sort of African primate in Planet Zoo. And coming down to the last spot, the number one spot, not the number one animal I would like to see in Planet Zoo, is the spider monkey. So. Like I said, I, I do prefer larger species of monkeys, especially for South America, um, because we have the capuchin, which is really small. But definitely comparing like the spider monkey to other larger monkeys, especially the howler monkey, I've seen both of these species in real life, like in like actually a few weeks ago when I went to South America. 
um, for a trip. I saw both of these. One of them was in a sanctuary, and one of them was just in the wild. I, I still prefer this, the spider monkey, because even before seeing them, I already loved them, because they are such goofy, amazing animals. I love that they're, they're long tail. I love that they're really unique compared to the rest of the monkeys, specifically for like their calls. Spider monkeys do have like a cool sound, but also like their behaviors mostly sell it for me. I love that they're long limbs and like long arms, long legs, and they have their prancel tail. But then they also have their unique silly behavior of running around. It's it's just really fun to watch. And I, I saw these at the sanctuary, like I said, and I could not stop watching these because they were so funny to watch. The howler monkeys, I, I is probably going to be the one we're going to get. I, I will appreciate them. I'll appreciate that we still get monkeys for South America in the first place. If we do get them, we better get them. Um, at least one. But I would love for the spider monkey to also be included alongside the howler monkey, or just be there instead of the howler monkey. Because I think the main thing holding this one back is the amount of work it would need. Because I, I think it would need a bit of work with like the limbs and stuff of this guy, but especially the tail, using the brachiation and stuff like that. But hopefully they can maybe find their way around that like an easier method and, and hopefully we can see this beautiful primate in the game so anyway that is my wish list for what i would like to see in planet zoo let me know down below what your number one animal is you want to see make into the game and if you have any ideas for future speculation videos i do have a couple plan but i would love to hear what you guys want to see from me i'm really enjoying doing speculation videos i want to keep doing them they're a nice break from building in planet zoo i obviously love that but it is nice to just sit back and talk and relax. Uh, so, anyway, I've enjoyed talking and relaxing. I hope you guys have enjoyed listening and relaxing. Or maybe not listening to me, I don't know. How, how far back did you zone me out? Be honest. <laughs> if you did enjoy and you actually weren't zoning me out, I applaud you. I, I recommend you hit the like button and subscribe to get notified for future videos. We do speed builds of Planet Zoo, and we just hit a thousand subscribers. It's, 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 that does not mean we have to stop there. We gotta keep going. We gotta keep the grind going even further. We gotta make it to like 1,500 is our next goal, I think. If you subscribe, you get notified for all videos, and you can also just stay, like, you'll see my videos pop up on your screen more, so you can catch up on all of the stuff that we've already been doing. We have other series for other games, like Prehistoric Kingdom and Jurassic World Evolution 2 and Fall Guys, so if you're interested in any of those three games, definitely you can see those series on the channel. And yeah, we got lots for you guys to see, and lots for you guys to stay up to date with going forward. I hope you all enjoy. And I will see you all in whatever the next video is.